commercial entrance hinges. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. Today we'll cover how to accurately choose a hinge for your commercial entrance. Glazing infill, I mentioned, can range from quarter inch to one inch. You just vary the stops that you're using. And then hinging. In most cases, you're going to have two hinges. If you're using butt hinge, you'll have a pair, which means one at the top, one at the bottom. We're using offset pivots. Again, a top pivot, bottom pivots. There are optional intermediate pivots. As your doors get taller, your manufacturer might require that you put additional hinges on there to transfer the weight. Butt hinges, very common, very easy to use. They're located higher off the ground, so they don't pick up dirt. They're away from corrosion. They do transfer the weight of the door to the jam, so you have concentrated load points where the hardware attachment is, so those need to be kind of secured back to the surround condition. Here you can see an example of the uh, clear opening. Again, ADA requires minimum 32 inches, so with butt hinges, you're losing 2.844 inches, so not much room there. Uh, they don't take a lot of space, but you can see the application of them. Here are examples of butt hinges in a satin finish. Offset pivots, again, very common. They're at the top and the bottom of door. They have some adjustment for vertical height. They can allow the door to be raised and lowered. The bottom pivot is down on the ground, so it's susceptible to some corrosion and dirt. If it's on a sidewalk where someone's putting salt down, it takes a little more clear opening. So now we're taking 3.843, still gives you 32 inches when you start with a 36 inch wide door but it's not as much clear opening. This illustration shows uh, offset pivots top, bottom. You can see two intermediates because this is a fairly tall door. Center head pivots are used on double acting doors. They're set at the top and the bottom of the door. There is no intermediate option. They're designed to allow a door to swing both inside and outside. They take up the most opening space. So here you can see we just make 32 inch clear opening with a 36 inch door. So they take the widest amount of space of all the options. Continuous hinges, another option. They transfer the load to the jam all the way up it. So the load is uh, spread up and down the, door, the jam. Easy to replace, easy to fabricate. Occasionally have to be replaced because there's a nylon bushing in there that does start to show some wear after a while but they're nice because they close the gap between the door and the frame, providing additional security for the door and give you a good clear opening. So you can see when the, with the continuous hinge as the door opens, it really kind of moves it out of the opening. So it gives you nice, good, clear opening. Here's an example, continuous hinges on a door. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.